Hey T, uh, your first year in Manhattan, unfortunately, was the year with with COVID. Just just how tough was that for you to kind of go through that in, as a true freshman? Uh, it was actually kind of it's kind of weird. I would say um, when I first got here, my first semester was in January, so COVID had wouldn't have like hit yet, and uh, everything was going pretty smooth. And then like we had got the break to go home right before spring ball, and then COVID just took like a mass, just like mm -hmm. a mass takeover, and it was like man, it was just like everything changed and it wasn't like my first year, I didn't really get to experience like a full stadium here and it just was a big adjustment. But uh, I feel like we made uh, do with what we had and just we made it work. This is supposed to be your second spring ball, but unfortunately it's just your first because of all that happened. Uh, what's been your the feel or your reaction to kind of what you guys have been doing the first week? Uh. For my first spring ball, I feel like it's been off to a great start. I feel like I get a lot like a fall camp feeling. And um, I just enjoy just being back out there because, you know, in the winter, you just do runs and just lifts. So it's a good feeling just to be back out on the field. And we just got new pieces to the defense and even the offense. And I just feel like once we get clicking and just get the offense and defense rolling, uh, this shit could be very good for us. You have a transfer in your position group now. How, how well has Julius Brent's kind of – blended into your guys' position room? Uh, Juju, we call him Juju. Uh, yeah. He's a good aspect to our group. I feel like he great, brings a lot to the table. I mean, he's a 6'2 corner, great speed, great arms. He's physical and just he fits the profile of what Coach Klanderman likes in his defense. And just I feel like he can play early and just be a great help to the defense. Uh, so far, who are the toughest receivers for you to cover during spring ball? Uh, I would say uh, we got a lot of good receivers, but uh, I would mostly say I like Gardner Malik Knows. I feel like he's like the one of the best on the team. It's just he's not really predictable. You never know what you get with him. Uh, also, Phillip Brooks, he's a shorter guy, but he's pretty quick and he's like solid with his movements. And even uh, Keenan Garber, he's probably like one of the fastest on the team. And just with him, you just have to be on your P's and Q's because you never know. Thanks, Steve. Kels. Hey, T, it seems like uh, defensive back was a position that was really, um, you know, up in the air last year. You had guys in and out seemingly every game. What's it like now to have you guys all together in spring ball practicing as, as one unit when you know everybody's going to be there? Uh, it feels good to just know we have, a, like, a solid core and know that even though we have some guys injured right now, but um, I feel like by the time the season hit, we'll have guys healthy by fall camp and so we can get everybody involved and, by the first game, we should be at full force. And uh, you mentioned Julius Brents there. What about Russ Yeast at safety? What's what's uh, kind of caught your eye with him? Uh, Russ, he come in with a lot of experience and a lot of uh, – he's actually pretty much a vet. He started over 30 games at uh, Louisville. And uh, I would say he just kind of took me on his wing and just even though he hasn't played here at Kansas State, he just showed his maturity and just been a great teammate so far. And then we just put in like a new – Defense, and I feel like he fits the defense very well. And you guys get to see it soon. I also want to know, just given the way last year ended with some teams putting up some big numbers on you, how much of that was a motivation for this spring? Uh, we really – we try to leave that in the past and just know that this year we just have a whole different mentality. Like, we, we just focus, and I feel like as of now, we're looking better than last year, and it was just spring ball. All right. Thanks, T. No problem. John? Yeah, T, I, I was going to ask just about last year. I mean, we haven't talked to you since then. How tough was the end of last year when you had so many guys in and out and obviously things weren't going your way on the field? Uh, it was pretty tough. Uh, week in and week out, we just couldn't find a way to get the win. And just some guys didn't feel like K-State was the right place for them. It's just I know it's tough on the coaching staff knowing that you're not sure if that player will be here next week. And just, it was just a lot to handle. But I feel like now we have some core pieces and just, it's going to be a great season for us. I, I can feel it. Uh, I know Coach Kleiman mentioned the other day, his emphasis for spring was to get back to the fundamentals, just like blocking, tackling, hand placement, that kind of thing. Have you really felt like that's been what the focus has been for you guys mostly? Uh, yes, sir. I feel like Coach is really em emphasizing just the bases, like, we came uh, back with our defense. We running basics, like no pressures, nothing, just the basic cover one, cover three. He just wants to get everything sound to 
so once we get the bases down packed, then we can just move on to the more to other things. Have you been able to tell just kind of a shift in in the locker room or, or culture or all that stuff from the way things were at the end of last year to where you're at right now? Uh, definitely. I feel like guys are more locked in this year. We see like that if we don't be locked in, we have a four and six season. I just I see in the locker room that guys don't really want that. We want to change, and we honestly feel like we're big twelve uh, contenders. So we just have to put in the work to show that. Appreciate it, T. Thanks, man. No problem. Adam. The defense lost some big names from last year, like White Hooper, Justin Hughes, and Elijah Sullivan. Have you seen anybody kind of step up and become uh, big in leadership and momentum on the field in the locker room since they've left? Uh, I would say we did lose some key pieces last year with uh, J Ball and Eli and Wyatt, but I feel like guys stepping up, like uh, Boom, uh, Bronson, I would say. Uh, even Daniel Green at linebacker and just we have a lot of key pieces just younger guys is going to step up and take take on bigger roles and I feel like we are we're, we're ready for it and I feel like greatness is on the way it's only a matter of time we have two uh, two hands raised we'll finish off with those starting with Ryan hey T how you doing today hey I'm doing well how are you I'm doing all right. Well, hey, I'm not, not trying to hit you with like a difficult question right out of the gate, but you mentioned just kind of how difficult last season was with like the coaching staff and even you guys maybe not knowing which players might transfer week to week and maybe one of your teammates going to leave. You know, you had a very um, passionate response, you know, last summer when the stuff with the fellow K-State student and that tweet. Was there ever a, a moment that you thought you wouldn't be be here at this time, at this at, you know, anymore? Uh, well, uh, uh, are you referring to the uh... – the uh, the tweet from one of our uh, students here. Correct. Yes, because I think yeah. your your exact tweet was I refuse to play for a university that tolerates you know ignorance such as this. Uh, yes, sir. I, the, the tweet just kind of caught me off guard, and I yeah. just I don't really know much about the student, but I just mm -hmm. kind of looked into him, and I just wasn't really a fan of what he said. Yeah. And I feel like if that can be tolerated, then it probably wasn't a place for me. But uh, Coach Kleiman, I actually sent a tweet to Coach Kleiman, and he got back with it got back with me within minutes and it was like three in the morning as it shows how much he cares about his players and just oh wow he, he nipped it in the bud right away he said this won't be tolerated we'll get to the bottom of it as soon as possible so that just shows how much coach k cares about us and then t just for yourself how, how much growth would you say you've shown between the time you got here to right now as a player uh i feel like i've actually grown a lot just mentally and physically uh right now i'm up 10 pounds um, 190. Last year, I couldn't barely even hold 180. And I just feel, I feel like I'm deeper into the playbook. Like last year, I just feel like I was going through the motions. But this year, I feel like I can be a key piece to the defense. And 190, is that the weight you want to play at or you want to add even more weight? Uh, my goal uh, by the end of spring is to try to be 195. So when I get to summer workouts, I'm probably going to lose a little bit of that weight. So this season, I want to play at least about 188 to 190. All right. Hey, T, thank you so much, man. I appreciate it. Uh, thank you. Last one here, Michael. Yeah, too, you mentioned some posi different position groups to uh, Adam a couple questions ago. How do you see Wayne Jones impacting the defense playing a linebacker? Uh, Wayne Jones, I feel like he fits the defense pretty well. Wayne is one of the smartest players we have out there. He knows the defense like the back of his hand and just with him being the safety, he's able to move. Well, him being the, now moving to linebacker, he's a, but he, he moved from safety, so he's already swift. He got good movement. He knows his, knows how to read his keys. He's a pretty smart player. So I feel like he's, he fits his defense pretty well. And I feel like the linebacker spot is a great fit for him. And how have you seen uh, Joe Irvin slip back into the backfield? Yeah, little Joe, that's my guy. Uh, Joe, I feel like uh, I feel like he's he's happy he's happy to be back out there. Honestly, just to see him smiling and getting carries and just he looks good. I just feel like he's got to stay focused and keep his head down. And greatness is on the way for him.